when I first started social services because I went into it because I wanted to impact poverty and I had these two kids come in uh, for one training slot and I knew I could only admit one but uh, it was really clear that one of the kids, try and get out of gangs, uh, had stayed out of a robbery, but his friend had gone on this robbery and so he now had a criminal record. And so what I did is I gave the last training slot to the kid that had been on the robbery. And when they questioned why, why that kid got the training slot, and I said that is because he had a criminal record, then the kid with the criminal record turns to his friend and says, see, you should have gone on the robbery with me. And that message to teenagers just didn't seem like the right message because the kid that was trying to do the right thing, there was nothing for him. He was going to have to get in trouble first. The other defining moment I think happened much later, which is I realized after about 10, 15 years that I was helping people, but I wasn't fundamentally changing anything. And not only me, but the sector wasn't. And so I became uh, very questioning of the work I was doing, even though you know we were getting a lot of accolades uh, and awards. Um, the biggest defining moment was when I got a call from Mayor Jerry Brown challenging the work that we'd been doing and basically saying that all, you know, a lot of us in the nonprofit were doing were creating jobs for ourselves, but we weren't really impacting poverty. And then he gave me a chance and he said, so if you could do anything you wanted to do, what would you do? And that type of question or that type of openness of if you could really do anything you wanted to do, money, all these restrictions really weren't a problem, to approach a problem that way uh, and really clear your mind and go after something and, and think about it as to what really you think would work, that was huge for me. It was the first time anybody kind of took all the boxes away.